I'm angry. I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really angry right now. So I'm just going to do a little rant to get this off my chest. Right now, everywhere we look, people have COVID. Vaccinated or not, everyone seems to be catching the virus with a whopping 800,000 new cases per day because Omicron is spreading like wildfire throughout the country, indiscriminately infecting anyone it comes into contact with. Some serious, serious failings by our public health officials, the CDC, Fauci, our politicians, and the mainstream media are becoming glaringly obvious to the point where I think their failings rise to the level of crimes against humanity. The scientists and health experts Experts. The people responsible for guiding us safely and scientifically through this pandemic have been hyper-focused on vaccines. They raced towards a vax, told us to hunker down and wait for the vax. When it became available, they told us to get the vax. Then all the discussion centered around the awful people who refused the vax. So then they mandated the vax. And throughout this entire time, which is now at two years in, they've never focused on, and often, which is why it rises to the level of a crime, even shut down discussion surrounding the well-known scientific principle of natural immunity. They they shut down and even demonize any discussion of potential early treatments, and they failed to give us good instructions on what to do when our loved ones or we ourselves catch COVID. They flat out refused to focus on any of this. They instead swore if we all got the vaccine, the pandemic would end. Well, it didn't end. Everyone is catching COVID. People who got double vax and triple vax and wore double masks and kept their kids out of school and gave up Christmas with family and even worse, gave up being with their loved ones by their side as they breathed their last breaths because because they weren't allowed to be next to them are catching COVID. Everyone is catching COVID. And as people are catching it, they're starting to realize they have no tools left in their toolkit. Somebody tell me, what are you supposed to do when you catch COVID? Seriously, can you answer that question? Besides quarantining yourself and wishing you were vaccinated more than you already are, what are you supposed to do? Do you isolate yourself away from your family and fight the virus alone while hoping and praying you don't need to go to the hospital? Because that's what they've left us with. Why don't we know more about natural immunity and how long it lasts? With so many people getting sick, wouldn't it be helpful to know whether or not people who have already recovered can take on the task of caring for their loved ones who are now ill? The Israelis came out with an enormous study showing natural immunity afforded 13 times more protection against reinfection than vaccination. But quickly, the CDC released its own highly flawed study claiming the opposite, that previously infected people were more likely to catch the virus than those vaccinated. Now, wouldn't it be nice to know which study is right? Wouldn't it be nice to know how long natural immunity lasts? Wouldn't it be nice to know if you do get reinfected, whether or not the disease is more or less severe? Signs point towards previous infection being protective to some degree in the least lessening symptoms when reinfected. And what about the natural immunity younger people seem to have? We've known throughout the pandemic that young people often have very mild illness when infected. But again, the mere mention that they maybe should be less afraid of catching the virus was met with fierce resistance. So here we are now, we have people sick and yet young and old and previously infected alike are all equally scared. And now people who are sick in bed with COVID who can't get themselves water or Tylenol or food to eat are reliant on the brave in their families to care for them if they're lucky enough to have someone brave at all. COVID can often be so debilitating, people can't get themselves out of bed for even the most basic of needs. Frightened people who otherwise maybe wouldn't need to be frightened because they're younger or previously infected are hiding away and leaving food on doorsteps for loved ones, expecting them to crawl out of bed and care for themselves. And often people don't get the care they need until they've gotten so bad they need hospitalization. Why don't we have more info on who is perhaps safest to care for others in the family? If you can't get water to stay hydrated, Tylenol to get your temperature down, someone to run a humidifier or to get you food, how can you successfully fight off a virus? I suspect many people didn't get the early care they needed because people were too frightened to be around them and they wound up in the hospital or even worse. And speaking of early treatment, again, no honest discussion or research has been earnestly put into trying to determine what could give a person a better fighting chance. Many early treatments that maybe weren't 100% effective, but reduced severe outcomes by 30% or 40% or 50%, which is better than nothing, were demonized as conspiracy theories before anyone put any real effort into studying them. I can guarantee you right now that anyone sick in bed with COVID will take a treatment that gives them even a 10% better chance of reducing symptoms than nothing at all. But that's pretty much what we've been left with. Nothing at all. Even monoclonal antibodies, a treatment that seemed to work, has been suppressed in the vaccine or bust movement. Yet here we are. People are fully vaccinated, even boosted, sick in bed, scared. And the best weapon our public health officials have given them against COVID is what? NyQuil?
I say this as someone who, for the past two or three weeks, has been surrounded by and caring for people with COVID. Some vaccinated, some boosted, some unvaccinated. It doesn't matter. People are getting sick. I have been taking temperatures, checking oxygen, running humidifiers, and researching online what am I supposed to do, but the information is scarce. No one is giving us any idea of what we're supposed to do besides the frontline COVID-19 critical care alliance. And guess what? They're, of course, demonized. We're left waiting once again for another big pharma Pfizer solution, the early treatment pill, which does no one any good right now because we're waiting for it. This is what they've left us with. Millions of people are getting sick right now with no real idea of what to do except get your four tests from Biden and hope they come back negative. This lack of basic research and information on who is safest in our families to care for others, what treatment to give them when they're sick, and how to care for them to give them the best fighting chance is in my book, A Crime. These are health officials, they're scientists, they're doctors. They shouldn't be telling us to just hunker down and hope we never catch it. We need more information. They haven't given it to us. And worse, they've demonized any discussion of it. Now, I wanna give you guys some examples that people have emailed into me. Uh, you know, I myself, I'm currently in quarantine right now caring for somebody positive with COVID. I've had COVID back in March of 2020. That was a long time ago. I suspect any minute now I'm gonna test positive for the virus. I keep checking every single day I test, thinking today's the day I'm gonna get COVID again. I haven't yet, um, but I will say that I've had people email in stories to me. A woman said that her 69 year old, a 69 year old woman, uh, her aunt lives with her 40 year old daughter. When the 69 year old woman caught COVID, her 40-year-old daughter wouldn't let her back in the house because she was too afraid. Another one, a 68-year-old woman. Luckily, the family was smart. When she got COVID, they hid the father away who has cancer. But the adult hypertensive son took care of his mother while his sister, who had previously been infected, stayed away. And home care workers are reporting that they're showing up for their check-ins to find food left, off, uh, left on doorsteps. They go inside and they find the person in fetal position, unable to get out of bed, to care for themselves, to get water or Tylenol, let alone go pick up the food off the front steps. And if you're somebody who needs a home care worker, you're older. So this whole thing, you know, we don't know what to do. And now everybody's getting COVID. And, it, you know, it, people are hiding away. And I can tell you as somebody who's been caring for somebody in their 70s with COVID for three days, it was scary because they were really sick. And I, I couldn't imagine what would have happened had they been left alone. I just think they would have ended up in the hospital because if you can't get water, you can't fight, fight a virus. You know, it's that simple. But here we are. What have, what have they left us with? What are you supposed to do when you catch COVID? Does anybody know? Right now, our family's getting hammered real hard. With you know the you know the thing. It's a nasty virus. Contrary to what they're saying, of course, it's come to us through the vaccinated. I believe just now coming out of it after being in the balance, so to speak, the last three days. Brought it home from an environment of all vaccinated people. But, uh, if you get it, um, recommendations that regard the, the ivermectin is next to impossible to find now. Uh, but, uh, you can make a homemade Q9 they call it. The essence of that is boiling uh, grapefruit rinds and lemon rinds, making your own hypersaturated vitamin C drink. And then uh, what seems to have worked really good for my brother and also my daughter is a uh, hot cold treatment with compresses on the chest and there's videos I'll leave the links of in the description box if you feel it settling into your lungs